Common Upgrade is also known as Common Passive to many players. It is a cheap way to get useful attributes, but you can only equip a maximum of 6 upgrades. So which one to get and which one to skip? But real quick before we get into it though, it will be a big help if you subscribe to my channel, give a like and hit that bell icon so you will not miss any of my videos. Let's not waste any more time here, so here we go. Here we go! Starting to play your chosen MMO game is exciting, but when you finally start, your excitement can quickly turn into frustration. Guides are limited, but the mechanics are robust. So that's why I'm here. I would like to share my vast experience in Kaban Mobile to help you in creating your own monster. Monster. We can obtain common upgrades by doing quests and by purchasing in-map instructors skill book shops. Each common upgrade requires a certain level of skill rank. For novice, we have Vitality Mastery and Mana Mastery. For apprentice, we have Reflex and Sharp Eyes. For regular, we have Offensive Sense, Defensive Sense, and Force Control. For G Master, we have Eyes of Mind, Six Sense, Ruling Force, Impact Control, and Damage Absorb. I divided the common upgrades into three groups. First, we have the one I call the old group. This can be equipped to all battle styles. We have the Vitality Mastery, Mana Mastery, Reflex, Sharp Eyes, Defensive Sense, Eyes of Mind, Sixth Sense, and Damage Absorb. For the second group, we have the Magic Group. This must be equipped two magic classes only. We have force control and ruling force. And lastly, we have the sword group, which must be equipped to all sword classes only. We have offensive sense and impact control. Before we go to the suggested combinations, let's talk about the attributes each common upgrade provides at max level. Vitality Mastery provides 589 HP. Mana Mastery provides 114 MP. Reflex provides 544 defense rate. Sharp Eyes provides 855 attack rate. Defensive Sense provides 64 defense. Eyes of Mind provides 1048 attack rate. Six Sense provides 720 defense rate. Damage Absorb provides 112 defense. Force Control provides 64 magic attack. Ruling Force provides 144 magic attack. Offensive Sense provides 64 attack. And Impact Control provides 144 attack. Take note that whenever you upgrade or delete a common upgrade, it will cost you a small amount of pulse, which can become bigger if you often do it without this knowledge. So to avoid that, here are my suggested combinations. But real quick before we get into it though, it will be a big help if you subscribe to my channel, Give a like and hit that bell icon so you will not miss any of my videos. Let's not waste any more time here, so here we go. Here we go! Generic Magic Build Balance Vitality Mastery Force Control Ruling Force Eyes of Mind Sixth Sense and Damage Absorb For the Generic Sword Build Balance we have Vitality Mastery, Offensive Sense, Impact Control, Eyes of Mind, Six Sense, and Damage Absorb. With this combination, we get the highest points possible for each attribute. HP, Damage, Attack Rate, Defense Rate, and Defense. Generic Magic Build Defense, Vitality Mastery, 
force control, ruling force, defensive sense, damage absorb, and sixth sense. For generic sword build defense, we have vitality mastery, offensive sense, impact control, defensive sense, damage absorb, and sixth sense. With this combination, we boosted the raw defense and overall defensive capabilities. For the generic magic build defense rate, we have Vitality Mastery, Force Control, Ruling Force, Reflex, Damage Absorb, and Sixth Sense. And for the generic sword build defense rate, we have Vitality Mastery, Offensive Sense, Impact Control, Reflex, Damage Absorb, and Sixth Sense. With this combination, we boosted the defense rate which blocks attacks. Generic Magic Build for Auto Dungeon Vitality Mastery, Force Control, Ruling Force, Sharp Eyes, Eyes of Mind, and Sixth Sense. For Generic Sword Build Auto Dungeon, Vitality Mastery, Offensive Sense, Impact Control, Sharp Eyes, Eyes of Mind, and Sixth Sense. With this combination, we boosted the attack rate which avoids our attacks being blocked. Since there is no auto combo function yet during auto dungeons, having a higher attack rate helps us to finish dungeons faster. This can also be used if many of your attacks are being blocked during BM2 and BM3. If you notice, Vitality Mastery is present to all of my suggested builds, as it is the only common upgrade that is being multiplied in Mission Wards, which is very helpful. Its usefulness in PvE is great as well. And also, if you notice, there is one common upgrade that I didn't put in any of my suggested combinations. Not because it is useless, but because it serves a very special purpose that needs a separate and detailed explanation. Mana Mastery is a very situational upgrade, which has a lot to do with Mana Freeze. Mana Freeze is a skill that can be casted by Force Bladers and some dungeon and map bosses. It shrinks your mana pool and even drains it to zero if your mana pool is below 1400 points. When you don't have mana, of course you cannot use any skills which is very dangerous. Other things worth considering when making your common upgrade combinations are the following. Purpose or specific task. Knowing your goals, you can equip the correct common upgrade to meet your requirements. Level or difficulty of task like dungeons. For example, you are doing EOD B3F Part 1. You might need mana mastery when facing temples. You also need to consider your current items to balance out your attributes, to strengthen your weakness, or further complement your strengths. There are plenty of possible combinations when it comes to common upgrade, but which one of my suggested builds you like the most? And if you have your own build, please share it in the comment section to help other players decide which one is the best for their monsters. Monsters. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, like the video, and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.